hello everyone hope you are all are fine in today's video we will be discussing about bitcoin mining so what is bitcoin mining and how it works so we will discuss all details in this so uh, let's start the video and before starting the video i would like to request you all of you if you have not sub yet subscribed to our channel please make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon uh, to get updated from our latest videos so the first one is uh, how does bitcoin mining work so first we we should know that what is bitcoin mining bitcoin mining is the process by which the new bitcoins are entered into circulation it's also the way of network confirms new transactions and it's a critical component of the blockchain ledgers maintenance and development mining is performed using sophisticated hardware that solves an extremely complex computational math problem the first computer to find solution to the problem received the next block of bitcoin and the process begins again right now cryptocurrency mining is pen stacking costly and only sporadically rewarding nonetheless uh, mining has a magnetic appeal for many investors who are interested in cryptocurrency because of the fact that miners re receive rewards for their work and crypto tokens. This may be because the entrepreneurial type C mining is penis from human like California, gold prospectors and 18. 49 and if you are technologically inclined why not do it right the bitcoin reward that miners receive uh, is an anecdote that motivates incentive that motivates people to assist in the primary purpose of mining to legitimize uh, and monitor bitcoin transaction ensuring their val validity ensuring their validity because many all user over the world share these responsibilities bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency or one that doesn't rely on any central authority like a central bank or government to o oversee its regulation however before you invest the time and equipment read this explainer to see whether mining is really for you right so key takeaways is by mining you can earn cryptocurrency without having to put down money for it bitcoin miners receive bitcoin as a reward for completing blocks of verified transactions which are added to the blockchain right and uh, now mining rewards uh, these are paid uh, to miner miner who discovered the solution to complex hashing puzzle first and the probability that participate will be the one to discover the solution as related to the portion of the network's total mining power you need either a graphics processing unit gpu or an application self integrated circuit uh, in order to set up a mining ring right now why bitcoin need miners B blockchain mining is a metaphor for computer computational work that nodes and the network undertake and hopes earning for new tokens in reality miners are essentially getting paid for their work as auditors they are doing the work of verifying the legitimacy of bitcoin transaction the convention is meant to keep Bitcoin users honest and was conceived by Bitcoin founder Satoshi Nakamoto. By verifying transactions, miners are helping to prevent the double spending problem. It's a s double s spending is a scenario in which a Bitcoin owner illicitly spends the same Bitcoin twice. With physical currency that's not an issue when you hand someone a $20 bill to buy a bottle of vodka you no longer have it so there is no danger you could use that same 
twenty dollar bill to buy a lot of tickets next door. Though counterfeit cash is possible, it's not exactly the same as literally spending the same dollar twice. With digital currency, however, as Investopedia dictionary explains, there is a risk that the holder could make a copy of the digital token and send it to a merchant or another party while retaining the original. Right? Let's say you have to uh, legitimate RS $20 uh, bill and one counterfeit of the same $20. If you are trying to spend both, uh, like uh, of the bill serial number, would see that they were the same number and thus one of them had to be false what a blockchain miner does is analogous to that they check transactions to make sure that user have not illegitimately tried to spend the same bitcoin twice this not perfect uh, analogy will explain in more detail below right the one most important thing is one only one megabyte of transaction data can fit into a single bitcoin blockchain the one mb limit was set by satoshi nakamoto the founder of the bitcoin and this has become the matter of controversy because some miners believe the block size should increase to accommodate more data which would effectively mean that bitcoin network could process and verify transactions more quickly now we are discussing why mine bitcoin in addition to lining the pockets of the miners and supported the bitcoin ecosystem mining serves another vital purpose it's the only way to release new cryptocurrencies into circulation in other words miners are basically uh, uh, minting currency for example as march of 2022 there were just under 19 million bi bitcoin circulation out of total of 21 million right aside from the coins minted via the genesis block the very first block which founders Satam satoshi nakamoto created every single one of the bitcoins came into beginning of miners in the absence of miners bitcoin has a network of which sell exist and be usable but there would never be any additional bitcoin however because uh, the rate of the bitcoin mined is reduced over time the final bitcoin wouldn't be circulated until around the year uh, that one that doesn't mean the transaction will cease to be will cease to be verified miners will continue to verify transaction and will pay fees for doing so in order to keep in the integrity of bitcoin's work to earn new bitcoins you need to first miner to arrive at the right answer or closest answer to a numeric problem this process is also known as proof of work to begin mining to start is engaging the work of in engaging in this proof of work activity to find answer to the puzzle no advanced meta computations is really involved you may have heard that miners are solving difficult mathematical problems that's true but not because the math itself is hard why what they are actually doing to is trying to be first miner to come up with 64 digit hexadecimal number a hash that's less than or equal to the target hash it's basically guesswork right so it's matter of randomness but with the total number of the possible guesses for each of the problem numbering and the trillions it's incredibly uh, or arduous work and the number of the possible solution refer as to the level of the mining difficulty only increases with each miner that joins the mining network in order to solve a problem first miners need a lot of computing power to mine successfully you need to have a high hash rate which mired in the terms of giga hashes per second and tera hashes per second all right so it was uh, also about the uh, why bitcoin mine now we are going to discuss the 
mining process. What's a 64-digit hexadecimal number? Here's an example of such number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and blah you can see in the video. The number above has 64 digits easy enough to understand so far as you probably noticed. That number consists not of just of numbers but also letters of the alphabet. Why is that? To understand what these letters are doing in the middle of numbers, let's unpack the word hexadecimal. The decimal system uses factors of 100 as its base, uh, uh, like 1% uh, is equal to 0 0.01. This is in turn means that every digit of a multi digit number has 100 possibilities 0 through 99. In upcoming computer decimal, the decimal system is simplified to the base 10 or 0 through 9. Right? Hexadecimal on the other hand means that uh, base 16 because hex is derived from the Greek word for sex and deca is derived from the Greek word which means for 10. Right? In the hexadecimal system each digit has 16 possibilities. But on our numeric system, only our 10 ways of representing numbers 0 through 9. That's why you have to edit letters specifically, letters A, B, C, E, and F. A, B, C, D, E, and F. If you are mining a Bitcoin, you do not need to calculate the total value of the 64-digit number. Right? And the next one is, what to do? A 64 digit hexadecimal number to have to do with Bitcoin mining. Remember that that analogy, uh, that analogy in which the number 19 was written as a piece of paper and put in the sealed envelope. And a Bitcoin mining term and a Bitcoin mining terms, the metaphorical undisclosed number as envelope is the called target hash. What miners are doing in those huge computers and dozens of cooling fans is guessing at the target hash. Miners make these guesses by randomly generating as many nonces as possible as quickly as possible. A nonce is a short for the number only used once. And the nonce is the key to generating these 64 bit hexadecimal numbers I keep monitoring. Yeah, right? Uh, in Bitcoin, a nonce is 32 bits in size. Uh, uh, much smaller than the hash which is uh, 256 bits the first miner whose nonce generates a hash is less than or equal to the target is awarded to create for the completing the block and is awarded to the spoils of 6.2 BTC right in theory you could achieve the same goal by rolling a 16 sided die uh, 6 64 times to arrive at the random numbers but why on the earth you would want to do that so the screenshot taken below from the blockchain.info might help you to put all the information together at a glance you are looking at a summary of everything happened with a block number that one was mine the nonce that generated the winning hash was that one the target hash is shown on the top the term uh, relayed by ant pool refers to the fact that this particularly block was completed by ant pool, one of the more successful mining pools. More about mining below. Right? So the screenshot is not working, but you can see this one from this. So how do you guess at the target hash? Right? So these all are the things and uh, now we have go to what bitcoins need to be mined because they are ent uh, entirely digitally records there is a risk of copying counterfeiting or double spending mining solves these problems by making it extremely expensive and resources uh, intensively try to one of these at hack the network right so how does mining confirm their transition in addition to introducing the uh, new btc into circulation mining zeros the crucial role of confirming and uh, validating new transition on the bitcoin blockchain this is the important because there is no central authority such as bank court government or anything 
to determining which transactions are valid and which are not. Instead, mining process achieves a decentralized uh, consensus uh, through the proof of work. So it was all about the how the like the Bitcoin min mining works, and we discuss in this video. I hope you will like this video. If you have like this, so please thumbs up for this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Let's see you in the next video. Bye.